Alright, shout out mga idol. So ngayon yung uh, bigyan natin ng comments and reaction. Uh, ito naman po yung uh, pagpasa ng uh, SIM card registration dito sa House of Representatives uh, na isa pa rin sa mainit na pinag-uusapan. Okay? Lalo na po yung mga against. Uh, sinasabi nila ito ay uh, against sa uh, karapatang pantao. So lalo na itong uh, si uh, Raul Manuel ng uh, Kabataan Fertilis. Si uh, Franz Castro, alright, ng uh, ACT Teacher Fartilist. So alam naman natin yung mga to ay talagang uh, inakalaban kung ano yung gusto ng uh, gobyerno na sana makakatulong na madali ma-identify yung mga SIM card uh, users po. Okay? Kasi itong SIM card user actually mga idol ay hindi na itong lumang isyo. Kasi kahit sa ang bansa, mostly nga ng mga bansa, ay mayroon na silang SIM card registration. For example lang, dito sa Middle East, hindi ka talaga makakabili ng SIM card kung hindi ka magpipresent ng iyong IDs. So, bakit sa atin hindi yan magagawa na tayong mga Pilipino? Kasi marami ang uh, ayaw malaman yung kanilang national uh, identity at Uh, ayaw malaman yung kanilang mga maling gawain. So, kaya nag-a-against po yung mga to. So, bakit po tayo mag against kung ito ay makakatulong naman, unang-una, sa ating national security? And uh, beside, mayroon din naman itong mga provision na hindi basta-basta, okay, gamitin yung ating national uh, identity o yung ating uh, kung ano yung ating details, ng ating personal details na nakalagay dyan sa SIM card, eh hindi basta-basta gamitin ng mga telecommunication provider. So ang uh, pagparegister ng SIM card para sa kaalaman ng uh, lahat, ito ay para sa mga uh, users na sila lang mismo yung dapat gagamit. So kung ikaw gagamit, dapat na sa pangalan mo. Ikaw ay isang, uh, ikaw ay accountable, any, any activities, wrongdoing, na malalaman or na matitres sa iyong SIM card. So, I think maganda rito. Tama rin naman itong SIM card. So, kaya kung ako lang, pabor ako sa tinatawag nating uh, SIM card registration. Pero congratulations kasi nakapasa nito sa second hearing. So, ngayon mga idol, bago pa tayo tumagal sa kakayaw-yaw, okay, pakinggan natin at panoorin itong mainit na usapan uh, pagdating po dito sa SIM card registration. At isa po dito sa author or sponsor na itong SIM card registration ay ang uh, congressman ng uh, Ilocos o first district ng Ilocos si uh, Zandro Marcos mga idol. So pakinggan muna natin yung uh, deliberation and uh, debates tungkol po dito sa SIM card registration. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. This humble representation seeks to sponsor House Bill Number 14, under Committee Report Number 30, entitled "An Act Requiring the Registration of Subscriber Identity Modules, or what we popularly know as SIM cards," as published by Statistica Research in April of this year, the number of mobile subscri subscribers in the Philippines amounted to over 157 million reflecting 5% growth as compared to the previous year. According to said report, in 2020, there were roughly around about 145 million prepaid mobile sub subscribers in the Philippines. In going through these given figures, it is only safe to conclude that more Filipinos have registered more than one SIM card under their name. This may look best for competition as phone subscribers switch from one network to another just by swapping SIM cards in their phone. However, this practice also unlocks fraudulent opportunities for nefarious individuals, at least, and criminal acts for terrorists and insurgents at worst. It is unaccepted fact that anonymity involved in prepaid SIM cards constitutes a major threat to law enforcement. Banking and financial frauds, kidnapping, sexual exploitation of children, uh -huh. cyber theft, and other similar crimes have been reported but remain unsolved due to the untraceable nature of disposable prepaid SIM cards. 
the most recent, more complex, sophisticated, and interactive tech scams have been reported exposing the vulnerability of any individual against unscrupulous cyber criminals using SMS technology. How many of us here in this August chamber have experienced receiving text messages in the form of smishing or what cybersecurity experts call the latest system of phishing which uses text messages enticing us. The recipients to click on fake links that draws them to fraudulent websites leading, leading them to exploitation of personal data and information has been passed on the rise. These nefarious activities nowadays are rampant and are surprising mainly because of the major shift to digitalization and online activities as upshots of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, maganda mga idol kasi paborito sa ating mamamayan, unang-una para sa ating uh, pagiging uh, secured ng bawat mga Filipino, at least uh, kung sino man yung mag-scam sa atin, ay pwede natin may report at mabilis ma-identify dahil po dito sa SIM card registration. So, ano naman ngayon yung uh, pinaka-rason ng ating Congressman Sandro? Bakit kailangang ipasa itong uh, SIM card registration? Through the use of SMS messaging, they take various forms ranging from ridiculous winnings and raffles, which we have never participated in, to dangerous but fake warnings about problems with our bank accounts. Furthermore, in recent time, this trend has evolved into including our full names pertaining to an entirely new breach of our privacy vis-a-vis -a, -vis a serious leakage of our sensitive information intended to be private. With the responsible government agencies appearing to be helpless about these issues, we must find an appropriate solution. Mr. Speaker, my esteemed colleagues, we propose to deal with this challenge through this measure, the SIM Card Registration Act. The bill seeks to require ownership registration of subscriber identity mo model module SIM cards to eradicate mobile phone-aided scams. Quite simply, under this bill, we would be requiring that for every purchase of a SIM card, the end user or a subscriber would provide his personal information, which includes his or her full name, date of birth, gender, his or her address, the assigned cell phone number of, of the SIM card and its serial number. This representation understands that through this process, more questions of privacy might arise, but in this bill contains safeguards specifically in the confidentiality provision that would create a safe environment for registration to take place. Notwithstanding the confidentiality provision, however, and the provisions of the Data Privacy Act, this measure provides that the public telecommunications entity shall be required to disclose the full name and address contained in the SIM card registration upon a duly issued subpoena or order of a court upon finding a probable cause or upon written request from a law enforcement agency in relation to an ongoing investigation that a particular number is used in the commission of a crime or that it was used as a means to commit an unlawful act. Mr. Speaker, my esteemed colleagues, these tech scams have basically shaken or practically eroded our trust and confidence in electronic commerce and digital transactions. Regulating the purchase or sale of SIM cards, among other things, will put at rest the worries of our people that their information is being arbitrarily and maliciously shared with certain parties without approval. Esteemed colleagues, we are aware that there would always be new forms of digital crimes and fraud. The world of technology is a constantly evolving landscape and we public servants must evolve with it. It is only through this dynamism that I'm sure this August Chamber hopes to possess can we provide the relevant legislation to tackle such issues. We must highlight, however, that this act is not going to be a silver bullet against the ongoing scams that have proliferated in the last few months. However, this representation is confident that this will serve as a deterrent against unscrupulous people victimizing our fellow countrymen. 
The war against malicious forms of technology will be fought one battle at a time and step by step we shall emerge victorious. We shall win it because we, in the government, have the resolve and the political and moral responsibility as guardians of the people's welfare. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. So yung mga idol, no, ang uh, naging uh, laman ng privilege speech ni uh, Congressman Sandro Marcos. So napaganda ng uh, laman ng kanyang privilege speech. Detalyado at magandang naipalawanag po sa ating uh, mga kababayan. Bakit nga ba kinokontra ito mga idol? Dativ Raul Manuel ng Kabataan Party List. Bakit ba kailangan ito kontrahin mga idol? Uh, the sponsor of uh, this bill on uh, mandatory SIM card registration. Kung uh, meron ba tayong uh, masasayit na experience sa ibang bansa given na uh, nabanggit na majority ng mga bansa sa mundo ay merong mandatory SIM card registration Are there positive experiences kung saan na uh, natigil nila or significantly ay napababa yung uh, crime rates with the use of mandatory SIM card registration? Yes, um, Mr. Speaker. Um, crimes are not only perpetuated using SIM cards. No, What we are concentrating here are um, crimes being perpetuated using SIM cards. No, So to the, as to the question whether the crime rate in a certain country or the crime rate in the 157 countries where SIM card registration has been a law, uh, went down or not, would not reflect the effectivity of the SIM card registration or not. No? Kaisa ako ng ating sponsor na dapat ngang pigilan natin yung pagkalat nung uh, mga text messages na nanilin lang, gusto lamang i-take advantage yung ating mga kababayan. So, ngayon, buti naman at nakiisa ka sa kagustuhan ng ating mga sponsor or uh, author na itong uh, SIM card registration. Salamat, uh, Representative Raul Manuel. Kahit nga ako ay nakakatanggap din ng ganong... So, ikaw din nakakatanggap, kaya pabor ka na dyan dapat text messages. Uh, kaso, uh, kaso, Mr. Speaker, gusto natin na kung meron tayong uh, imumungkahi na uh, ilang mga hakbang para mapigilan ito, dapat ay meron tayong uh, katiyakan uh, na ito ay magiging epektibo. Kaso, Mr. Speaker, yung uh, naisite kanina na organization, yung GMSA, or GSMA, to be correct, uh, Mr. Speaker, ito yung GSM Association, which when translated, ito yung Global System for Mobile Communications. Isang industry organization na nag-represent ng interest ng 750 mobile operators sa buong mundo. Mm -hmm. At, Mr. Speaker, batay sa kanilang report noong 2016, dahil uh, meron na rin silang... Uh, hawak na iba't ibang uh, experiences dahil nga dun sa dami ng bansa na merong mandatory SIM card registration, they concluded na walang empirical evidence na yung mandatory SIM card registration will lead to reduction in crime. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Um, this is not a sil silver bullet. no. Um, hindi naman porket pinasa po natin yung SIM card registration. Lahat po ng scams Um, na ginagamitan ng cellphone ay ma-resolve natin. Tama. Ngunit ito po ang unang hakbang. This is the first step, no? There will we will need laws to enhance this bill. Siya oh. natin kanina. I'd like to underscore uh, Mr. Speaker na yung uh, privacy isa yan sa mga batayang karapatan ng tao. Um, our honorable colleague na may dalawang provision po dito na very specific uh, no? ano. that uh, na ang goal nito ay protektahan ang identity ng uh, SIM card owner. No? Number one, um, Section 8, Confidentiality Clause. Any information in the SIM card registration shall be treated as absolutely confidential unless access to the information has been granted upon written request consent of the subscriber. The, the points po ang nagprotekta sa um, uh, bibili po ng SIM card. Number one, lahat po ng impormasyon doon ay confidential. Number two, hindi po pwedeng maggumawa ng waiver ang PTE o ang Public Telecommunication Entity or ang subscriber, hindi po siya pwedeng gumawa ng waiver of the confidentiality. 
at number three, yung confidentiality clause takes effect. Okay, ang ibig sabihin po nito ay pagbenta pa lang kung sino yung direct seller na nagbenta ay respons responsable na doon sa um, privacy ng informasyon na yon At section 9, yung disclosure of information. No? Hindi pa pwedeng basta-basta i-disclose ang information na ito unless uh, meron pong um, subpoena or court order finding probable cause or a written request from a law enforcement agency in relation to an ongoing investigation. So may safeguards. Yung safeguards, dinagay po natin dito specifically. Dahil kahit sino naman sa atin, no? kahit sino naman sa atin dito sa August Halls of Chamber at kahit sino namang uh, mamamayan, eh ayaw rin niyang makompromise ang kanyang privacy. Lahat. So, yun nga mga idol, sino ba ang gusto ma- compromise ang kanyang security. So lahat po tayo, kaya nga yung itong uh, SIM card bill registration na ito ay mayroong mga provision na ipinagbabawal na basta-basta lang ibibigay yung uh, privacy ng bawat uh, SIM card user. Pero yung uh, pinakadulo nito mga idol, pagkatapos nga ng uh, uh, House of Representative hearing regarding po nito sa SIM card registration ay good job po ayan sa mga bumoto Okay, sa mga congressman po natin na uh, nakita nila yung kagandahan nitong SIM card bill registration. At uh, yun nga mga idol, nakapasa ito sa second reading. So, antayin na lang po natin yung third and final reading and uh, pagpasa nito sa kongreso and yung uh, pag-approba ng ating uh, mahal na Pangorong Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos. So, sa uh, pagkatapos nga nitong uh, ano nito ng uh, House of Representative uh, Uh, hearing tungkol po dito sa SIM card registration ay uh, parang naging pabor naman itong mga komontra para sa SIM card registration at naliwanagan po sila sa paliwanag ng uh, ilang authors and sponsor para po dito sa SIM card registration. Good job po sa ating mga congressman na talagang nagtatrabaho at nagpupush po para naman sa security or uh, privacy ng bawat Pilipino. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much.